Okay, guys, we got this Honda Pilot over here. Um, they said they put a new fuel pump in. I guess they have to mark it one. Uh, came out with my scans one here. We didn't. They said it don't start. So let's see if the battery's dead. Battery's definitely dead. So we'll bring the truck over, and we'll try to get this thing started. Um, I guess what we can try to do too is I'll scan the car, see if we got any codes, but we might not have any with the battery being dead. So I'll get this connected up, and we'll see if we can uh, scan this real quick. Okay guys, got my jumper cables hooked up. Um, I never got to scan the rest of the car. Um, let's just try starting this, see what it sounds like. Oh, we got a compression issue. You hear that? It's not consistent. Let's go get our, I guess we'll get a lab scope and we'll set the lab scope up. Okay guys, so I got my amp clamp, my high amp clamp there. Got this on ignition coil. I don't know if that's one. Doesn't really matter to me. Um, I'm gonna do a one volt scale. Uh, go back up and bring this down. Hopefully you guys can see this maybe. Uh, probably not low enough. There we go. Actually, we're gonna do like probably a 500 millivolt scale. Uh, let's do one second. Hopefully. Uh, we probably don't need peak detect. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get our capture here. So let's go crank this. We'll see what our compression looks like. I don't even hear our pump running. Let's see if we got this. Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, let's record this again. We're just gonna invert our scope, our trace, and we'll see if that works. Doesn't sound too good, guys. Let's come up here, save this. Oh yeah, guys, we got a dead hole. Might have more than one dead hole. We got one, so let's see. It looks like we got two dead holes. This is a V6. So we got one, two, three, then not one, then one, then not one, then one, two, three. Okay, guys, there's 121,000 miles on here. So I wonder if he did the timing belt or anything on here either. Okay, guys, so I came back to the car. I tried activating the fuel pump real quick. Um, I want to show you something else that I found. So I went in live data. So I cranked the car. You can see we have engine RPM, okay? So then I went back, I went to active test, I went to fuel pump turn on, I pressed okay, turned it on. It says operating fuel pump, but I don't hear anything. I tried folding the seat forward. I don't hear anything. I don't even hear a click underneath the dash. The relay, I believe on this is like a seven pin or something. It's two, two relays in one. If I hear nothing back here, I'm gonna try to figure out how to get to the fuel pump. I hear nothing. Nothing going on under here. No noise from that fuel pump. So I'm gonna quick go look to see how to get to it. And then we'll see if we can get this to at least start. Okay guys, so I unbolted our seat real quick. There's four bolts. Looks like somebody did do the fuel pump. It looks new. Let's turn the light on. There you go. So now you can see in there. So I pulled some of the tape off real quick. I'm gonna go get a test light. We're gonna put our test light on this heavy black and this heavy red wire. And we'll turn the key on and we'll see if we get a test light. If our light lights, then we got a bad pump. Okay, we got our light on there. Um, let's uh... Let's go check. Let's turn our key on. Let's see if our light went on. Our light did not go on. So, we probably have a bad fee going to there. No light, guys. Okay, so we either got bad relay, or well, we could have a bad, 
We got a background too. We can get a power probe real quick. See if we can power up the pump. Okay guys, we got our power probe here. So we're just gonna touch it on this one, see if our light lights. So our light does light there. Um, I think I might need another attachment. Yeah, we're gonna need another attachment to uh, go into our headlight bulb. Actually, I got these on backwards. This should be ground. This one should be powered. Doesn't really matter, but uh, let me go get a, let me get a light. I wanna get it out of this mud too. So if this pump turns on, we'll try to start it. If we can bypass it, see if the pump turns on. But uh, it's all muddy here. I'm getting tired of standing in the mud. Okay guys, got our test light hooked up. So if I connect this up, you can actually hear our fuel pump turn on. It's kind of faint. Um, let me get this light out of here. Actually, we'll leave the light like that. I hear it. So you can hear it. So we should be able to start this. I wonder if we just have a bad relay or if they blew the fuse. Look at that. Start it up. Boom. Let me make sure I can move some stuff up here. Okay, nothing looks like it's gonna burn, so I'm gonna move this out of here. So guys, it's actually running pretty smooth. Oops. Yeah, it's actually running pretty smooth. So I'm kind of surprised. Um, the only other thing that I can think of is maybe, oh, you know, I gotta put that other cover on over top of the coils. That's that cover that goes over top of the coils, so I gotta put that on. But uh, the only other thing I could think of was there was some fuel vapor that was trying to ignite, but that doesn't really account for the huge change in cylinders because some of them were like super low and it didn't even seem like it was trying to start. So guys, I shut the fuel pump off. Well, I mean not the fuel pump, but the uh, power probe. The car is still running. Uh, you guys can't see, I don't know if you guys can see the RPM gauge, but we're still running. But look at our voltage. Our voltage goes, it starts going down and then it'll come back up. Hopefully it does it now. It went down to 10 volts a couple times here. Oh, I had it running here. If I put power probe to it, watch. We get 13 volts, okay? Look at that, look at it dropping. And now it's going back up. So I think we got a bad relay on this car, guys, because that proves our fuse is good. We need a new, uh, we need a new uh, fuel pump relay, that main relay, seven pin. Hopefully it does it again, because that was kind of cool when I saw it drop. I'll come back if I see it drop again, guys. I don't have like a lot of faith in the power probe. Let's see if we can shut this off and start it back up again. Cause I'm wondering if the contacts are just messed up in the uh, relay. So we'll turn this on. Let's see if we get there. Look at that, nine volts. Nine volts a key on and now it went out. I'll try to start this. Look at that, nine. We would have tapped on this relay, we would have probably got it to start. But yeah, that's our issue. We need a main power relay. Because we definitely shouldn't see a two volt voltage drop through the circuit like that. Shut it off again. Guys, our fuel pump's only running at 11 volts. I bet you the longer we leave it on, it's probably gonna get worse. I'll let it sit here and run for a little bit. Look at this, guys. We're down to 10.84 volts. Let's see if we can hear the fuel pump change. Hear that? 
Listen to that. Listen to how much of a difference that is. Guys, that's that's over two volts voltage drop. You can hear the RPM change. Like we're gonna have some voltage drop through everything, but that's a lot. Okay guys, so we got uh, 11 volts there, look at that, 13.6 at the battery. Look at that, almost 13 volts when we put that on. Look at how low that went. I went down to 10 volts when I did that, you see that? Look, we turn it off. Didn't do it that time, but. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the car off. I got a new, uh, Relay. I think the relay should be underneath the dash right here. It is. Oh, we got a broken relay. But there's our relay. So I'm going to put that in and we'll see if that changes our voltage drop. Okay, guys, so we got our new uh, relay. It's just hanging in here. Let's see. Let's see if I can show you guys. Where's the relay? Oh, there's our relay. So I have our old one unplugged, our new one's hanging there. So let's turn this on. See what our voltage goes to. Let's try that again. Oh. So do we not have control to our relay? Look at that. So we got nothing. Put our other relay back in. Uh, that's odd. We got that plugged in. Uh, uh, there we go. We got that unplugged. Let's try to plug this back in. That's weird. We didn't get anything. There we go. Let's plug that one in. Let's see if we get anything back there. We got a bad new relay. Guys, we got a bad new relay. This car's running now. See it's running. Shut this off. Let's go back to our relay. Oh. There we go. Let's plug this in. start let me see if we get any voltage not we have voltage so we still have a voltage drop so we'll have to work on that tomorrow I guess well that's exciting okay so we'll work on that tomorrow Okay guys, so the car started up, brought it in. Um, I did notice when I was looking down here, I saw that the battery cable looked like it was off right. I'll show you guys. So, we'll come underneath here. And look at that. Look at that cable. Main cable. I wonder if that's our issue. Okay guys, so here's our uh, PGMFI relay right here. See, it comes up to our fuse one and then it says go to H on diagram two. So we're gonna go over to diagram two right here to H. You can see that comes up to F right here. So if we go to F on page one, it says the ignition, so we're on page one. So we'll come down here and you'll see F right here. So F comes up here to this white. So we wanna check this white wire right here. So we wanna check power on fuse 42, 50 amp. I think there's an underhood, underhood. So we're gonna check that real quick at the power probe. See what our voltage is there on this 42. Okay guys, we're gonna do this kind of crude. So I can't turn the fuel pump on with the scan tool. It doesn't work. The test does not work. So we got 13.7 right there, okay? So we come over here to this. Our, this is our fuse that goes to our ignition. We got 13.7, let's see. There we go, 13.72, same thing. Go on the other side of the fuse, 13.72. Okay, we're gonna go back to the pump real quick. And if we have the same voltage at the pump, then we're gonna go check our ignition and we'll check our ignition switch. So we'll touch this in here. 
Look at that. 11.6. That's two volts drop, and I'm assuming that's to the ignition. That might be why our pump wasn't turning on too. Okay guys, so our black and yellow wire right here on our ignition. Get to it really easy right here. Look at 13. It's hard to touch it. 13.29 volts. There we go. 13.29. So we don't have an issue there. So now we gotta go to our PGO or relay underneath. I could have checked the relay underneath first, but probably should have. We'll just take the long way around it this time. Okay guys, so I want to show you something. So I came over here. I checked this oops, sorry about that. Check this fuse. Let's see if I can power probe on it. So look at that. We got 13.14 volts. Okay. Check the other side of the fuse. I replaced this fuse because I wasn't sure if there was a voltage drop here at the fuse, like where it made contact. That was good. Okay. Because then I came over here to this relay, and our ins and outs are these red wires. So we have 12.48 volts right there. So we have a half a volt drop. Well, like three quarters of a volt drop right to this thing because if we check this other one let's see you'll see it's about the same thing 12.6 so that's already like three quarters of a volt drop or so half to three quarters and when we come back here um i had taken this off but uh remember how we had uh our 11.5 volts well look at this we're pulling 10 amps on this re on this fuel pump should probably be like six to seven amps i can go look at this other video i did on a honda i might even have it saved i think they're supposed to be six okay guys i got our uh, current ramp here uh, got it connected still i can change it to a 40 amp scale so we're going to shut the car off we are going to give it a couple seconds and then we're going to start the car up and we'll see what they do i'm going to do key on there we go and now we'll start it And we're gonna go look at our, what our inrush current is because I think our whole issue with this thing is our current. Oh, look at that, that was really high. What do we have here? We're up pretty high there. That was our last one. Let's see, where's our first one? Look at that, guys, we're over 20 amps. I bet you it'll even go higher sometimes. So yeah, there's our issue. We're pulling way too much current. Let me save this. Oh, look at this sitting here. 10 to 12 amps just sitting here right now. That's way too much. Okay, so we got, we got five and a half amps here, guys, on a 2003 Honda Element. And we got 50 PSI, or 52 PSI, let's see, 50 PSI fuel pressure. So I think this new one is, uh, we got a messed up pump. And it's going to cause issues, because that's over double our current, and that shouldn't be. Guys, so I'm going to crimp one of these terminals on and then put heat shrink over it and extend this. I cut the bad section off. Here's the bad section, so I think we're going to be pretty good then. Okay, guys, so we got it crimped on here. There we go, so I'm gonna put heat shrink over it and we should be done. We'll tighten this up. Okay guys, so we got the battery cable back in place, got it all clipped in place. Got the new cable. Oh, the new cable end on there, look at that. Bam. I, I sanded all the spots too that it made it. So it should be all nice and good. I don't know if we can get a good photo of it. But I would sanded, uh, where does this go? kind of see the grind marks but yeah I'd sand it all even sanded this one right here so we clean that all up so let's see if this will start now hopefully it starts uh, let's see why oh, do we have no power to our fuel pump now I 
Um, let me check to see if we got power. So hopefully you guys can see this. We're going to check voltage right here on the relay. I might turn the key on. So we have power. But I don't think our fuel pump's turning on. Um, I don't hear the fuel pump. Let's see, uh, let me get my probe back here and we'll see if we get power. Okay guys, so we get no power to our fuel pump. No light on my test light. Nothing. So, now we gotta see why we're not when we had it up here at our relay. Definitely saw our relay light up, or our light light on our relay. Okay guys, so if we suck our key on here, look at that, it lights here. So, it lights at our relay right here. So that means our fuel pump should be getting power. Let's go check the fuel pump again. Guys, look at this. Look at this connector. It's all melted. It's all melted, guys. From that pump, I think. Or the old pump. I'm gonna cut this connector out real quick. Look at this guys, it melted that pin, and then it melted this pin right here. Crazy. I don't know if I can strip this wire up enough and then just make a jumper for now between the two. Outside of this, it looks like that's the only terminal that's messed up. Okay guys, so we got the bypass wire in right there. Let's see if our fuel pump, uh, Turns on the uh, grabber key. Let's see. Boom, light turns on. Look at that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect our, uh, oops, power probe. Let's disconnect this and we'll just see what our voltage is that we go got going on here and then we'll check our current again, maybe. I don't think pumps pull more current at lower. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, crap, you guys couldn't see. So, still, still, uh, t like, 10 volts. So, yeah, that didn't uh, fix our uh, voltage drop issue. So, we still have that. Because we're pumped still pulling too much current. Um, let's just double check this real quick. Yeah, so. That's another issue yet, too. So we fixed that issue. So we got that bypassed. Okay guys, I got the new pump here for the for the Honda right next to the other one. It looks like they might have been the same pump. I don't know if there's a problem with this pump. So we're gonna put the new pump in and we'll see how it works, see if the current's lower. Hopefully it is. I know the lines were super, super hard to get off, so hopefully there's nothing wrong. I didn't see anything wrong in the tank fuel look good it doesn't look like there's water or anything in there so let me try to get this in and then we'll measure the current okay guys got a new pump in i connected my leads up we're gonna start this up we're gonna see if this pump changes there we go let's look see what he's doing man we got the same amperage draw it seems really really high wonder if it's an issue with this pump. We have 12 volts back there. Let's see what we had cranking. Yeah, look at that. Looks like cranking. Cr 
cranking we had like 11 volts or so. Let me save this. Okay guys, right now we have uh, running, let's shut this off. I'm just worried that these wires are gonna get hot again. I just wanna see what we have while cranking. Let's try this again. I think this, oops, let's go back. I think this was while cranking. Come on. Zoom in on this. Let's see, cursors show. Right here we're at 8.6 volts while cranking, 10 amps, and then we come up, our voltage comes up to where we were stable, which is 11 and a half volts. And actually there is actually a small variable with this. We could, could potentially have a ground let me, let me put our ground on our chassis ground. So guys, let's take this amp clamp off of here. Let's re-zero this. If I use, if I, if I use the chassis ground right here, we're getting about the same amount of voltage. 12 point, I mean, I'll, yeah, 12.46 volts, 11 amps average so I don't know maybe we need to get an OEM pump same current draw I'm wondering if something up here is restricted I didn't realize that they had this whole thing so it looks like our fuel line I don't know if it comes up to this and then comes down and goes to that mess right there or what is going on so I'm going to have to do some research and we'll come back to this. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do with this car is I'm wondering if there's a restriction in this line. So I'm going to take my fuel volume tester. I'm going to put this in the line on the feed side. And then we'll see how much volume we get uh, going through and what our pressure is. If our pressure is too high, well, we can bleed some off and then see if our current comes down. Okay guys, got my fuel volume tester hooked up right here. I'm gonna go turn the key on. Uh, maybe we'll cycle the key like twice or whatever, see what our pressure goes up to. Okay, we didn't build anything yet. Try this again. Oh, well, maybe that's not our feet side. I thought that was our feet side. I guess we could start it, see if anything builds up. Maybe the other side's a few. Yeah, that's not our feed. That must be our return side. And we don't have a lot of fuel returning, guys. This flow meter is not going up. So let me go to the other side. Okay guys, so I got the fuel volume tester on here. Hopefully this doesn't kink. There we go, that's a little bit better. Here we go, we got the volume tester hanging right there. I need to get something to support it down, but I just want to cycle the key. See what our pressure goes up to. Okay, so we're at like what, 40 there? Let's cycle the key one more time. Uh, start this up, see what happens. Well, 
We're at almost 70 PSI guys. And we don't have a lot of flow. That's a lot of pressure guys, 70 PSI. That might get our current up there. We should probably be around like 50, I think. As I put my amp clamp on there, we're gonna start this up. We're gonna look at our pressure versus our amperage. And we're gonna drain it into a pan. Start this up. 70 amps is a, I mean 70 PSI is a lot. So I got this pan down here. So let's see, inverted. So right now we're around just under 12 amps. See, we got 70 PSI going through here. So we're going to open this up. Look at our volume. Our volume's down to nothing. So now we're down to 60 PSI. Go down to 40. And at 40, we're still seeing 10 amps. Look at how much fuel's coming out of here. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I think I might got the gauge hooked up backwards. Do I have this hooked up backwards? I do have this hooked up backwards. Let me shut that off. That's why we're not seeing any flow right now. I had it hooked up the first time right. Guys, sorry about that. Now look at our volume. There's our volume. So that's what we're flowing through. Our pressure's a little lower right now. Let's see if we open this up. Oops, that went way too low. We wanted 40. So if we go around 40 PSI or so, we're down to 10 amps. So that's not making any sense. Our volume's good. Not sure why we're at 62 PSI though. The only other thing that we could do is check the current into a container. We check the current into a container, rule out anything with the tool. Okay guys, so right now we're at 60, 60 PSI. And let's see what our volume is. Volume's around 40 gallons per hour or so, right there. And if we open this up, you can see our current's still around 11.4 amps right there. So if we open this up, Let's go down to like 50. Or so, actually, we'll go down to 40. So we go down to 40. Oops. There's about 40. See our volume's up above 53 or so gallons an hour. Our current is now 10.4 amps. So we don't see too much change in our current. So that's making me think that it's our fuel pump issue. Like there gotta be something with these aftermarket fuel pumps. That's not good. So guys, we got a used fuel pump from here from the junkyard. Hopefully this works. So guys, got my probe set back up with the used pump. Look at this, 5.1 amps, 13.37 volts. Let's save this. Save this as a uh, Fuel pump current, junkyard pump, and this is running. So we'll save that. Crazy. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to shorten our time base down. Let's go way down. This should be enough. So we'll leave it there. We'll shut this off for a couple seconds. <coughs> and then we'll start it back up and we'll check our inrush. Look at that. So it went off our scale. Save this. 
save this as in rush. We'll go to a slightly higher scale. Just gonna record. Let's go to 20 amps. We might go over our 20 amp scale. Capped at 14 amps. Yeah, 14 amps. So, guys, here's their original relay. Look at this. So, the contacts, the joints, correct, right there. And that right there is for the for this resistor. It's three watt resistor. But uh, these relays probably aren't going to be able to handle 10 amps for that long. They have like tiny legs, and uh, I don't think they're probably designed for 10 amps for that long. It's like one's four volt, the other one's 12 volts. But yeah, it definitely broke the uh, solder joints right there. I don't know if it's all the way broken. But uh, you can tell the, the solder is like stress cracked. Okay guys, well we got everything back together. So I hope you guys like it. That was our issue. The aftermarket fuel pumps are just made wrong. Um, I talked to a couple people and uh, one was Dave Hobbs. And he said aftermarket fuel pumps are designed for ethanol now. A lot of them. So they pull more current, but this is pulling double what it was supposed to. So, hope you guys like it. See you later.